Hello and welcome to this video guys. In this video I'm going to be showing you my most recent shoot which is done using Ilford Delta 3200 um, and my film camera of choice I was using was this. This is my Hasselblad 500cm. It's pretty much my go-to film camera whenever I'm shooting medium format for photo shoots. But I was also using my digital camera so I can kind of compare the two. It's my Fuji GFX 50S. Yes, I'm using an adapted lens. This is from my Mamiya 645. So from the first lighting setup, this is with the Aperture 120D with the beauty dish with the tan background. These were the first images. And as you can see, I am shooting with my digital camera. I use my digital camera just as a as kind of a test so I could get the looks that I wanted. And that way I could actually shoot the photos and look at them and make sure that the light was how I want it to be. And if it wasn't, I could easily just tweak it. So these are kind of the first few. And if you notice, there's some color images and that's kind of another advantage that I do appreciate about digital is that I can then, if I want to, I can convert the images from black and white to color or vice versa. That's like the first setup um, up with the digital photos and then the first setup with the film photos. We can check those out. Comparing the black and white film photos with the black and white digital photos, I honestly have to say I prefer the film I just, I just love the way it looks. I think it just looks so cool with the, the grain just adds so much to the images. And not only that, it's just the perspectives of the images too. The Hasselblad being a waist level finder it was a lot more comfortable for me to like lean over, get like lower angle shots, kind of like shooting up or shots that were like directly um, like eye level to her. For instance, I'll just show the first two that I have. The film photo, it feels like more of a power pose because we're shooting more up at her instead of like directly eye level with her. Um, and like I also mentioned the grain, the grain is just so cool and it just looks more grungy and, that, and that's what I really wanted from the Ilford film is I knew it was gonna have a lot more grain than um, you know some other black and white film stocks and I really did want a kind of like a grungy look. And now we can move on to the second light lighting setup. I didn't take any digital photos of the second lighting setup, only, only on the film camera. And so here those are and I love these photos. <laughs> These ones are so cool to me. This is like a perfect example of the grunginess and how cool the grain looks on on this film. It just, it's so cool. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in and just kind of like move through some of the details. It's just, it's so cool. And as you notice, the background's significantly darker because I moved on and I used the darker blue background instead of the lighter tan background. So it has a lot more contrast um, in these photos. To the last lighting setup, I only have one photo on digital that I that I ended up liking, and that's this one. I think it's a cool image. I do like it, but it's just um, just seeing how the film looks. It just it seems a little boring to me. Or boring's not the right word. It's just I love the grain um, with the film, and I guess I could have added digital grain, but it's really it's not the same thing, you know. I really do like this image, but I just love the character that the film uh, adds. So let's move on to the film photos. First one super 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 cool um, and you can really see the catch light in her eyes I'll go ahead and zoom in on that and then we have this next one which looks so cool to me I'm a little sad I missed focus if if I zoom in um, you can see that the focus is on the very tip of the mask not her eyes but to me I, I really don't care it's to me it's such a cool photo that yeah even though it's not perfect it's still awesome this one's so cool too we have this last one that has a really bad light leak. But honestly, I think the light leak looks really cool. But yeah, those were the photos. Let me know what you guys think. I really enjoyed shooting this film. Um, if I could have done something differently, I probably, I don't know, I think it would have been cool to have two rolls of, Delta, of Ilford Delta 3200 because I think 12 photos isn't is just not that many. Luckily, I shot some digital, so I have other photos like that. Next time, I probably would also see about shooting on a, on a tripod or on like a monopod. I don't have one, but I think that would be kind of cool to get just because I was shooting at 1 60th of a second which is a little slow for this and so I think that kind of affected some of the images I know most of them were in focus there's only that one that wasn't in focus but I think if I was on a tripod then I could have made sure that composition was like fully rock solid and the focus was fully rock solid so I didn't have to worry about um, missing that shot because it is my favorite photo in the bunch even though it is it is out of focus it's just such a cool picture um, nonetheless so yeah, tell me what you guys think. I really enjoyed um, using both of these cameras. Um, I think overall I did prefer the film versus the digital. I know I could have added some grain to the digital photos to make them look a little bit more like film, but I think at the end of the day, it's just like the film stock is just so cool and it's just so, it's so different. And 
even if you want to, even if I tried to full, to like replicate the look on my digital camera, I would never get 100% there. And I think it's just cool to be able to shoot both of them at, you know, side by side at the same time. And I think that's what I'm going to try to do um, moving into the future on my photo shoots is to be able to shoot film on my Hasselblad and digital on my Fuji and then just film the photo shoots like I'm like I did in this one. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Did you prefer the film or did you prefer the digital? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys for sticking around and watching the video if you made it this far. Um, if you liked it, please consider leaving a like or subscribing to the channel. It really does help out a lot. And it kind of lets me know that you guys are enjoying the videos that I've been putting out. Also, I guess I never mentioned this, but my girlfriend was the one who modeled for me in this video. Um, so I'll leave my Instagram as well as hers in the description below, as well as my website if you guys want to check out any more of my photos. Thank you again for making it this far into the video, and have a good one. Bye.